This is part one of a series of three videos that document building a fermentation chiller from a little PC fan and uh, thermostat and uh, mini fridge for the purposes of uh, uh, fermentation, uh, controlling the temperature on fermentation of beer. Okay, here's the panels. I've uh, just thrown them next to the house. Just got done measuring them um, with this tape measure and and uh, I measured the length and the width and the thickness and uh, I'm going to go inside now. And uh, there's one more panel that I measured already that's uh, not delivered yet. So we'll take that into account as well. I'm going to key these measurements into Excel here. I, I think I need to add a description column but I'm going to get all the measurements in there including the depth of the carboys and things like that. Okay the idea here is to use this scale up here to make um, this is um, Microsoft uh, PowerPoint. Um, use that scale to make a uh, sort of mod or a scale scale model. And I'm over here. I converted the uh, the uh, the size of these things into um, into feet. And I think I'll make one inch equals one foot. I don't know exactly why I'm choosing that, but that's uh, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna set the uh, uh, number of digits here to. Uh, to two just so it looks a little bit nicer and I'll just see if I can make some boxes here on uh, on the PowerPoint uh, based on these measurements here for these items. Probably overkill but these measurements on this on this uh, PowerPoint are in uh, eighths of an inch and so I I converted these these you know basically these feet measurements you know 6.98 feet to um, it turns out six and eight eighths it rounds, but you know if you look at something like the 1.39 converts into one and three eighths. So that way, when I make this object over here, I can set it. Uh, you know, it's it's going to be rounded, but we're just going for rough at this point. Okay, I got all that in there, and I so these are to scale. I've got the the long panels and the thickness in there, and how big we want the floor to be. That's the size of the mash tun. And then the, the sort of the target height, that's as deep as the, the current kegerator, and the minimum height uh, for the cargo boy plus the blow off tube, and then I got the big panel. So we're going to cut these, you know, print this out, cut it out, uh, cut it out of paper, and, uh, s and sort of see if we can assemble a six sided beast that fits our requirements. Not sure if this will work or not, but uh, I thought maybe if I took the two long panels and made it the width of the, our, our target floor there that uh, this big panel could be used for the you know the front and the back it looks like I can get three target floor widths out of the big panel so we'll see I'm gonna cut that into three pieces okay so roughly it looks like this is gonna work if the big panel is cut into pieces like that these other pieces are cut into pieces the long panels are cut into pieces like that it looks like we can get you know, a basic six-sided box out of it I haven't thought about which one's going to be the door or anything yet but roughly it looks like this would come to a nice vertical orientation and um, where's our th height it looks to me like we could get you know two easily two target height things in there you know put a shelf in the middle so we could have one on the top and one on the bottom obviously be vertically oriented um, So we'll see how this goes. I think what I'll do next is I'll um, I'll use this panel thickness thing and maybe glue these down to a piece of cardboard and make them uh, to include the thickness dimension because I think we're on the we're on the brink of running uh, shy of our target floor area. But that's actually for the mat for the insulated mash tun. And that's for a different purpose altogether. So if we don't get that, I don't think it's that big of a deal. If we can get two carboys in there that would be that'd be awesome okay this is this panel this piece of cardboard is about the right thickness a little bit thinner than it needs to be but what I'm gonna do is uh, I printed out another copy of it and I'm gonna paste it down onto this cardboard and cut it out with uh, with a razor blade and then I'll assemble it with the thickness in mind and see if we can come up with them um, another copy okay I'm just gonna spray this spray glue on here 
piece of you know, longish panel too, but I'll do the same thing for the big one. I've already spread, taken the two, um, taken the two pieces of cardboard and glued them together, like in the same manner. Then we'll have a complete set scale things to work with. Okay, this is some stuff that I had already. Actually, I've got this. This is an old thermostat. It's got one of these things in it. So that uh, means that you can uh, do it without any kind of battery or anything. And this is the control system, by the way. So this is what uh, will turn on this fan. There's a, my other. This is a fan out of a PC. And this will, this will start up and um, <clears throat> when it calls for um, cooling, it'll blow some air out of the refrigerator and put it into the, um, into the uh, chiller, fermentation chiller thing. And this is just a, a power supply from a PC that I, I figured that, uh, I figured out how, uh, the hell, no, uh, figured out that you could, uh, get the right voltage to supply this. I think it's a 12 volt thing and this has a 12 volt DC on it, so that works. That'll be installed in there. Okay, so here's here's a panel example panel. This is a, just to show you what it's like. It's got the steel on the outside and the foam on the inside. And some of them have a steel that's wrapped around. It's got a little weather stripping thing here. So some edges are like this and some are cut. Next up, cutting and assembling the panel.